When I was 15 years old, uh, I was in a room very similar to this one with my parents when the doctor told us that I had cancer for the very first time. Needless to say, when we headed home that day, uh, our hearts and minds were everywhere, really scattered and scared and afraid. I remember for several days after the, hearing the news, uh, just kind of wandering the house looking for comfort. I would spend lots of time with my parents. I didn't want to be away from them very much. I'd be in my room by myself. I read my Bible a lot. My dad had circled a couple scriptures that were very comforting. And so I spent some time there. And then I would wander into the front room where my mom's piano was. It was actually all of our piano, but very few of us kept up with our lessons. And so my mom would often sit at the piano and just play hymns or just choruses, songs that were comforting to her. And so after the diagnosis, I remember one afternoon walking into the front room and sitting down at the piano and the hymn book was open and there was a song there that I loved. My family sang it, uh, my mom played it a lot and I started plunking out the right hand because that's all I could do because I hadn't kept up with my lessons. And it was a song written by Bill and Gloria Gaither called Because He Lives. And the words uh, began to comfort me in the ways that I hadn't found comfort since the diagnosis. And they say, because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone. Because I know who holds the future. And life is worth the living just because he lives. And I sang that song over and over and over and over. And I was comforted by that. I know now that there's a lot of scriptural truth in that. But I didn't know that then. I was only 15 and I was scared. Several weeks later, uh, we were in Indianapolis. I had just had a major surgery that was part of the diagnosis and the treatment for the cancer. And I had come out of recovery and I was in my hospital room. My parents had left. I, I'm not sure where they went. I think maybe they went to get dinner after a long sleepless night. And I had fallen asleep and I woke up deathly afraid. I mean literally deathly afraid. I was so scared that I w would die, that this cancer would take my life, that I wouldn't live to see 16, let alone 49 years old. And I began to weep. I asked God to help me and I began to pray and I needed comfort and that's what I told him and you know I didn't know what I was experiencing then but I can tell you now that God came and stood with me in that room and I began to calm down and I don't know how to explain it other than the goodness of God I heard I'm here and you can do this. When I look back at that experience, I realized that that was my second encounter past my salvation experience. It was my second encounter with the living Christ. He heard my prayer and he came and he comforted me in that hospital room. And the words of that song, they weren't playing in the room, I didn't hear anybody singing it, but they came to me because he's alive, I can face tomorrow. And I've been in a lot of rooms like this one. And I've been in a lot of hospital rooms these last 35 years. Sometimes I've sung that song out loud. Sometimes I've wept like I did when I was 15 years old. Sometimes I've begged God. And always, He has come to be with me. But I always think of that first encounter when He stood beside my bed and said, I'm here. You can do this. That encounter with Jesus changed my life. I'll never be the same.